Hey guys, Nolan here. Today I'm going to give you a number one tip for people who use pellets or who have thought about using pellets to bed their barn. Honestly, I'm going to tell you all to pull out the inner rebel in you because we're going to break some rules. Before we do that, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified the moment I upload new content. Hmm? All right, little cruisers, or AKA little rebels today, we're about to break some rules and not follow some instructions. Okay, here we go. Now I'm a shaving user myself, but when you work at a place that really want to do the pellet thing, you learn a thing or two. And I kind of understand why they like the pellets. Not only are they cheaper, they're also creative. Meaning they're always the same from bag to bag. Whether you get a bag from place A or you get a bag from place B, it's pretty much always the same. Whereas shavings can sometimes be dusty, density differences, quality of the shavings. There's always a question mark when you buy one. But with pellets, it's the same. Okay, but here's the thing. We put a bag of pellets in a stall and on the bag it says to wet the pellets to expand them. First thing, do not soak them. Honestly, they can only absorb so much. But I'm actually going to take a step further and say, don't really wet them much at all. Uh, but Nolan, it says on the bag that they need to be wet so they can absorb. Yeah, and my shampoo also says to rinse and repeat. Secret. I don't repeat. Yeah, I'm a rebel that way. But here's the thing. You're supposed to be using the pellets to absorb the urine. But by wetting the pellets, you're taking away the ability to absorb the urine because you're absorbing the water you're wetting it with. I think I said that right. Which means you're going to have to use more pellets, which, shocking, costs more money. I thought one of the benefits for using pellets was because they were cheaper. But my horse standing on hard pellets can't be comfortable. His bed should be soft. Oh, 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 I got you, don't worry. This is where I'm gonna give you an easy way to do things. So I'm just gonna use some random numbers here and say you're going to use for the whole empty stall four bags of pellets to bed it up. Dump three of those bags into the middle of the stall. Now, wet them. Hold on, do not soak them. Do not soak them, just sprinkle them down nicely with some hot water just so they absorb and fluff up a bit. You'll probably have to wait about 10 minutes for them to completely absorb. Now these three bags of pellets are your mattress of the stall. You know, the soft stuff. Now push all that to the side. And where you think the horse is going to urinate, open the last bag of pellets and place it in that spot. Do not wet these pellets at all. Now you're gonna place the soft, fluffy pellets on top of the hard, dry pellets. The reason for this is when the horse urinates, it's going to hit the dry pellets, which will be 100% useful in absorbing because they haven't been wet down. Which means tomorrow, you're gonna have one wet spot to remove and the mattress will be dry enough to be used again. And that's everything I've got for you guys today. I know, short, nice, little, sweet video, just talking about a quick tip on your bedding when you're running your own horse business. Let me know your thoughts on today's video or maybe you have your own tips on using pellets in your barn. Let us know down below. And have you checked out our fancy online store? Yeah, we got some sassy attire for all horse people alike and everybody's personality. From sweaters to tees, mugs to glasses, we got you covered. Link is in the description, give it a check out. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, it's a little thing, but it really does go a long way. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button and join the Little Cruiser Guild yourself. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make this horse world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today, alright? Thank you so much for watching, I am Noel Michael Cruz, and I'll talk to you soon.